Um, Secretary Yellen, welcome back. Um, last week, the Treasury outlined its debt issuing debt issuance plans for the upcoming quarter, and it included some unexpectedly optimistic net funding estimates. And so I have a few questions around that, if I might start there. First, can you explain the Treasury's elevated reliance on bill issuance, which obviously is more costly to the American taxpayer, it's certainly more costly than using notes or bonds right now? Uh, is it because you've got concerns about demand for long-dated instruments, or is it more that you're trying to time where the Fed might go with its rate cuts? We um, rely heavily on a regular and predictable schedule of auctions. And um, we- I understand that. I'm talking about the mix of what you're- We try, we never try to time the market. We are in there for the long term. We want to make sure that there are not significant surprises for market participants. And so we have quarterly refunding schedules that are um, well considered and um, follow that principle. So I understand, but, but shortening the duration of the curve, where you are on the curve right now, very short. What's the thought well, process behind that? Well, we're close to the proportion that has been recommended um, by uh, the tre Treasury Borrowing Advisory Committee. Does close to mean you're shorter or longer than the recommendation? Sli I believe we have a slightly higher short-term issuance, but... Um, I, and, and, and these, let's, let's, let's come back to the, the optimistic funding estimates themselves. Um, the, the estimates for this coming quarter, I thought were, were they were just released last month, is unexpectedly high. I'm wondering what's driving this next quarter's uh, increased estimate. Is it strong fiscal inflows that you're expecting? Or is it merely tax receipts? The, is it something structural that you see in the economy that's, that's causing your projection to be higher for this coming quarter? Um, I, I can't give you, I need to come back to you with the details. I know we have actually um, lowered our estimate <clears throat> of the amount that we'll need to borrow in the first quarter. Um, at our quarterly refunding, we indicated we expected to borrow $760 billion in the first quarter and a lesser amount um, in the second quarter. Um, and actually, this estimate is lower than um, what we had expected. No, I, it's more optimistic as a result. And I, I'm just trying to understand what, what you anticipate is driving the inflows and why it's just this quarter, why it wouldn't manifest itself in the coming quarters, why those estimates happen. Well, there, there are patterns that depend on when we get tax receipts. So as tax receipts come in in April, there's less, there's less need. So you're more optimistic that tax receipts will be higher than originally projected? I, I'm not, I don't want to... I need to look into it, and I'd okay. like to get back to you with the details. Let's let's go to another area. You and I have talked about this before. It has to do with the politicization of what's happening at the Treasury. Um, you know, on multiple occasions, you and I have talked about it. Now there's an IRS contractor that has been um, has been actually you know, sentenced for this, leaking confidential tax information belonging to the president, belonging, belonging to private citizens, um, and. and you know, the, the presiding judge appropriately referred to what happened as illegal, and he said, quote, it was an intolerable attack on our constitutional democracy. And I think exploiting the IRS for political purposes is deeply concerning to every American. And, and in previous hearings, you've referred to this illegal act as very damaging. And I, I want you to just let me know if you still stand by that statement. I, I do. We, I believe that protection of personal taxpayer information is utterly essential, yeah, I, and um, we're devoted to it, and I um, know that, although I can't give you the details. I, I agree with you on that. I, I just want to point out one thing that, that deeply concerns me, because even more damage continues to be inflicted on the credibility of the Treasury. If you think about last month's revelation that FinCEN, that's a bureau that's under your watch, directed financial institutions to flag customers who demonstrated, quote, extremist indicators, like the words Trump, or MAGA, or whether they made transactions to purchase religious books. This time it's not just an IRS contractor doing it. This is the administration itself taking 
personal data to target its political foes. Secretary Yellen, do you believe that people that purchase Bibles are extremists? I, certainly not. I want to put this matter in perspective. First of all, FinCEN's mission is to safeguard the financial system from illicit use to combat money laundering, terrorist finance. Certainly not to target Americans for purchasing Bibles or voting for Donald Trump. FinCEN is, is expected to work closely with law enforcement and financial institutions on their money laundering um, detection programs. And so there are interchanges and conversations between FinCEN and financial institutions. Um, and I believe that the matter that you are referring to dates back to before my time as Treasury Secretary and in the aftermath of the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Um, so um, starting in the Trump administration, there were efforts to work with financial institutions to determine um, what had happened and to work with them to provide relevant information. And, and purchasing a Bible is relevant information to determine these people are extremists. It's, it's ridiculous. I, I, it's a I shame. Get, I, will get, I will get back to you with more detailed information when I've had a chance to study this thoroughly. I, uh, please I want you to understand that this dates back Bef these, these were conversations between, I believe, staff at FinCEN and financial institutions that are, um, is the purpose of FinCEN. And so the details, I promise to thoroughly investigate. Thank you, Senator. 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 Thank you, Sen